Hello fellow fish nerds and happy water change Wednesday to you. Um, I figured I would go ahead and start off this video by revealing the aquatic organism that I got from the local fish club auction the Saturday before last. I'm actually showing it right here in the shot. No, it is not that female guppy that is looking for food as always and swimming around or that guppy or that guppy or that smaller guppy or that guppy. It is the, well, I'll let you hold on just a little bit longer. Before I forget, while well, I'm thinking about it, I'm going to take a cue from Jeremy at Sergeant Tank and go ahead and remind you to uh, click the subscribe button down below. I really do appreciate it. Turn on the notification by clicking that bell. Um, would be great. Should be updated whenever I post a new video or I go live. If there's ever a pop-up live stream, I usually stream live on Monday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern. And uh, uh, comment below with any questions or comments you have. Uh, lots of questions and comments do turn into future videos, and I do try to give whoever it was that made the comment or question credit for being the inspiration for that video. So, I'm going to take this time right now while the guppies are um, stealing the show, and just click the subscribe and uh, notifications button down below. I do appreciate it. And if you could be so kind, Share this video on social media, that'd be great. Share with any of your fish nerd friends. Um, I do hope that I am pr uh, providing lots of uh, informative information. Is that redundant? I think it is. But anyways, let me get right back on the topic here. This aquatic organism I got from my local fish club auction the Saturday before last, those of you that know your aquatic plants will know that this is an Anubius Nana Petite. <clears throat> um, this is usually the size portion right here that you get from a local fish store. Um, if, if you get a nice size portion, which this is about the size I got from my local fish store, but I also got this uh, larger portion that's right behind it that the guppy is now blocking. I also got this rather large portion that's right here. Goes all the way up to my right right there but that large portion has some new growth on there let me get it to focus a little bit better has some new growth on there that's pretty exciting um try and keep this as still as possible i got that plant right behind the placo cave there that was all in all of these nana uh, uh, nana petite plants came in one lot auction um then got that plant right next to that guppy in the background um, it's a smaller plant, but I didn't have anywhere else to put it. I ran out of room, basically, because the foreground is where I feed the super red bristle nose placos. I'll talk about them a little bit. Uh, so I got this plant right here, and the one right next to the sponge. Plant right here next to the driftwood. The small plant right next to it, right? The guppy is trying to inspect for any food particles. And then finally, this monster plant right here. Um, I was super excited to see this as an auction item uh, the Saturday before last. Um, it was a much larger uh, group of Anubius Nana Petite than I would, I'd ever dreamed of seeing. And I got it at a price that I know I would not be able to afford if I paid retail for it in a local fish store. Um, those of you that know uh, your aquarium plants know that even the price of this small specimen right here is quite um, I mean it's a reasonable price but to get as much as what I got was just an awesome deal I couldn't pass it up um, still haven't told my wife how much I paid for this plant but uh, my plan is is that it is this is now becoming my uh, my breeding or growing or fish for profit tank uh, not only profit, but store credit, um, hoping that this will be a, you know, a new organism that can, that I can trade with a local fish store for some store credit. Since this is a pretty popular plant in the um, aquarium hobby right now, uh, that'd be a great thing. And uh, to be able to have a self-supporting uh, hobby is my goal and this tank is definitely going to help me get there um, with the Anubius uh, Nana Petite and then the Super Red 
person that was play goes, let me find one. Well, I found two. Here's one that's rather active. There's the super red, he's trying, he's, he's being camera shy. Is that he, he's been going up and down like crazy, but yeah, I think that's a, that's a male right there. I got, I got these super red bristlenose Plagos from Carlos, uh, the fish nerd. Uh, check out his store at fishnerdstore.com. Um, definitely great quality livestock. That's definitely a male. Definitely one of the males. I'm pretty sure it's two males in here, and the rest are females. Uh, he did a great job picking them out, and they've already grown in a matter of two weeks. Uh, my students absolutely love watching these. Plecos, which is strange because most times the only time you see a Placo is when you first buy it and you see it in the bag and that's the last time you see it, unless you come in and you see your tank at nighttime. Because most of us know that Placos like to hide, but these guys are out in the open front and center, um, loving to eat, especially they, uh, I, I dropped some French cut uh, green beans. One of my students uh, loves doing that every day <clears throat> at about what one about 130 or so every day she likes to feed them a nice sized portion of French cut uh, uh, green beans and uh, that's where they usually, usually get fed and by the end of the day those green beans are gone so I'm upping their portion size until it gets to a point where you know it's just the right amount so that guy is super active I've even seen them starting to go in their Plago caves here um, one was hanging out in this cave earlier today um, not very long, but I think they're starting to get um, acquainted and learning their instincts. Uh, there is another one in here. Of course, I guess I spoke too soon by saying that they don't hide. Um, I did see it earlier. But where did it go right now? One of them usually likes to hang out by the sp oh, there it is. One of them likes to hang out back here by the sponge filter. Um, there it is right there. Um, just really nice, hardy fish. I mean, I think they're almost like bulletproof. I mean, as much as I changed them around from tank to tank once I first got them after being shipped, I mean, they were just, you, you couldn't tell it. You couldn't tell that they had just came from shipping and going from tank to tank to tank and then finally settled here and they're just loving it. They're growing. They're growing quite nicely. I'll just leave it right here because I think that's pretty nice shot of the new plant along with, a, you know, occasional cameo appearance of the Super Red Plago male right there. He is going crazy found some algae up there so hopefully he'll take care of that a little bit but uh, I am definitely still loving this purchase here and um, I mean I never thought I would like uh, play because these guys are definitely active my students are my students are definitely re really cool and they're smart about it because they realize that you know most placos um, do get too large for the home um, aquarium but I tell them don't worry these guys might get double this size and that's about it so this is actually a perfect size tank for them to grow to full size in here um, and uh, so yeah they're definitely a great fish to have in your average household or classroom in my case um, aquarium um, but uh, as far as the guppies go uh, they are not for profit I give them away for free uh, to my students and anybody local that wants uh, guppies, I will give them to them for free. Uh, I did just put a male, he just went across the screen, where, there is he, there he is right now. Just put that liar tail male in here and you see what babies come out and see what happens and get them breeding a little bit because I do have some, I do have a possible plan for them. Um, might make some, for some interesting videos for my, my plan I have for these guppies. Um, some of you may or may not like it, but um, I, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I think it'll probably be the use of my other 29 gallon fish tank, which is next to this one, which needs to be resealed and uh, cycled and then going uh, set up as a new fish tank. Uh, that's the plan. Um, I will reveal that plan for these guppies and that tank. Um, obviously later on once that uh, plan comes closer to being a possibility um, but uh, yeah that's so these guppies are not for, for profit they're they're free uh, anybody who's local or students of mine that have an established fish tank that have a way to get a ride home after school instead of going on the bus uh, I give them free guppies usually I give them free males so that way they don't have any surprise babies 
Um, but if they do want babies, I have plenty of females that are definitely pregnant. Um, there's some right in front of the camera right now that are pregnant, actually. So, uh, But as far as the profit part of this tank, it's definitely the Super Reds, hopefully, and then the uh, Anubius Nano Hub. It's heat. Like I said, it's not actually profit. It's just to make it a uh, self-sustaining self hobby um, so that... I, my plan is to eventually make it so that my expenses on the hobby are zero and my wife never notices how much I spend because I don't. Um, it's my hopes and plans for this, uh, for this tank. Um, so Adam from AC Aquatics, you're still watching this, your plants are definitely, you know, thriving and doing really well. The uh, jungle valve did melt back a little bit but it's coming back as was uh, expected and the other plants are doing just fine the water sprite the baby guppies are loving to hide in that um, they're doing just fine in that so I'm pretty happy about this but I think I rambled on long enough here I'll let you all get back to the rest of your wonderful Wednesday uh, activities and uh, but yeah just super excited about this plant that I got this plant purchase that I got I mean you know you're a fish nerd when you get excited about a plant. I mean, pretty boring, but I mean, this plant is, I mean, it, it grows really slowly. So finding this much of it is awesome. I know that this plant was grown by a local uh, fish club member. Um, she's actually one that's very active in it. So I know it's coming from a great tank and a great home. And, and uh, so I do have some pretty high hopes for these these plants. I might spread them out in some other tanks to just to spread it around a little bit and because uh, I mean some other tanks could always you know tanks could always use some Anubius nano petite even some uh, nano tanks they do well with these too because they are like I said petite so hope you enjoyed this um, if you did give it a thumbs up if not give it a thumbs down no worries and uh, be sure to like comment and subscribe and uh, share if you don't mind on your social media like I said comments and questions do turn into possible future videos be sure to check out the links below to my local fish club uh, actually hold on my local fish store uh, click and fish uh, they have some awesome happy healthy high quality fish invertebrates etc um, great great guys that there um, also share the links below to my Amazon links uh, while you're doing your Christmas shopping in the next few months. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything extra to support my channel, my classroom, or the Hooked on Fish program. Um, and it, you just shop for what you're gonna shop for through my links and I get a portion of it and it doesn't cost you anything extra. Thank you in advance for that, by the way. Also be sure to check out my, uh, my channel shirts in the link below as well. And uh, newly added, uh, for those of you that are Above the age of 18, I did add a paypal.me link, uh, paypal.me slash mrsciencegeek. Um, those way, that way you can um, say, hey, you know, I want this five bucks to go to buying some fish food for the Hooked on Fish program, or hey, I want this money to go towards this, and I will spend your money that you send through that um, on the product you uh, requested and I will be making a video of that also to have complete transparency with my uh, awesome people that do donate to that link I think I just found the thumbnail look at this awesome thumbnail right here I mean, how much better does it get than that I'll keep this this time frame in mind right here this is an awesome thumbnail but anyways check it out hope Rob Hicks is happy with that hope that, that it all works and I finally was able to log back in. I forgot my password and was able to get that set back up. Stupid passwords. They're so frustrating. But anyways, enjoy the rest of your Water Change Wednesday and stay tuned and stay fishy, people.